Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share a short video with you on how to deploy WordPress on the FreeBSD 12. But it's not going to be a usual step-by-step -step tutorial because I realized that it's not a very engaging content at all. And we're all here because YouTube is exciting and engaging. Yay, I guess. So instead of taking an old route, I made a bash script uh, that's now published on GitHub that will do all of the work for us because no one wants to watch video and just type commands into console. That's why we invented robots and automation. And I, I will just sit here and stare at the screen for 10 straight minutes to get that view time. I'm joking, of course, it's gonna be 12 minutes. I really need that view time. Now, seriously, my job for this video would be to show you what the script is capable of and to kind of walk you through on what needs to be done to get WordPress up and running on FreeBSD 12. I'll try to release a video each Thursday that would be similar to this one, just for a different software or a different platform. For example, next week, I wanted to make a WordPress Debian 10 installation script, then TeamSpeak, then Invoice Ninja, Maybe media wiki one day, question mark? Um, you get the point. So if you'd like to see your favorite software on the list, leave your requests down in the comments or via small donation, because sometimes we can miss comments on YouTube due to the how the platform works. Now with all that in mind, let's begin. So I named my script yet another bash script to automate WordPress installation for the free BSD. Um, the script was tested on FreeBSD 12.1 and 12.2. So the script will automatically install a fresh copy of WordPress along with all its dependencies. So it's going to be PHP 7.4 and I included as many PHP modules as I possibly could. I mean, not all of them, but ones that are essential to work with all of the plugins and things like that. Installation also includes Apache 2.4 and MariaDB 10.3. So the script works on JLs, VMs and bare metal installs. I'll run the script just in a minute to show you how it works, but let's go through the readme first so you can get the whole idea of why I created this and so on. So a couple of notes, all WordPress files are located in this folder. Apache 2 config is over here and the script will make a backup of the default Apache configuration in case you'd like to check comments or add some more default modules, etc. To apply any PHP in a settings, edit user local www apache24 data ht access file and follow the example there. I'll show you what the examples are and it's going to be really easy to add your own PHP any settings. The installation also includes WP CLI. So you will be able to automate a lot of things you do in the web interface without clicking anything, just running one simple command, which is really cool and saves a lot of time. I left an example of WP CLI over in this line and I'll show you what can be done with it at the end of the video. WordPress installation will be ready to get placed behind a reverse web proxy like Nginx or HA proxy. WP config PHP is also slightly altered to play nicely with HTTPS reverse proxies. Only HTTPS port is active to encrypt traffic between the proxy and the backend and all default WordPress resources removed upon the login. Um, so things like default pages, um, default posts, comments, things like that, all that garbage. Script will just remove all of that for you so you don't have to do any unnecessary clicking. This setup was designed to be behind a web proxy, but everyone these days is running Nginx or HA proxy in front of their web services anyway, so this shouldn't be a problem for most people. Now, when you made up your mind and you really think that this is something you need, go back to this text over here and copy the first command into your FreeBSD box. I'm logged into the jail here and FreeBSD version is 12.2 release. This will update 
the package repositories and then it will install bash and curl because we're going to need that for the script to work and then it's going to set our bash as a default shell we want to answer yes to that and now it's installing our software okay everything was installed now we just need to exit the console and log back in triple click this one liner insert it into your terminal you need to be running root by the way otherwise this will not work i will probably release a version that's going to be running under sudo but for now it can be run only as root after pasting this one liner just sit back relax grab a cup of tea or coffee and wait for everything to finish And so the installation was done. It probably was five minutes or something like that. But now if we go over to our private IP, let me just minimize that, accept the risk. Now we have our random admin username and random admin password, log in. And there you go. A very clean working WordPress installation on top of FreeBSD 12. There are no comments, no pages, no posts, not a single piece of trash that WordPress ships by default. Um, permalinks are also set to post name. And then the only thing you kinda need to change is the site title and the tagline, but you would change that anyway. Administrative email address will be also generated from a random symbols. So you're gonna have to change that as well. But now that's pretty much it if you want to go ahead and start working on the WordPress. I just wanted to show you a few additional cool tricks. So the script has few checks in it. It will check if your session is running under root. It will check if the bash is the default shell. Then it will install and configure all of the required software like Apache, MariaDB and PHP. Then it will download latest versions of WordPress and WPCLI. Then with help of WPCLI, we're going to populate all of the random values we generated and remove all of the default resources. Then the script will write down all of the passwords into this file. So if we cat this file, we're going to have WordPress web GUI username and password, then MariaDB root password, and then WordPress database name, database user and database password, all in one file. If you're not feeling secure, you can just copy this information elsewhere and remove the file. Another feature I added to the script is the local IP detection. So it will show you its local IP and you will be able to visit this web page and start administering your website. Now, before I end this video, I wanted to show you a couple of tricks you can do with WPCLI. We can install a theme called Hello Elementor and activate it. So theme was installed and activated successfully. And let's install a few of the plugins that I use on the regular basis and activate them as well. Okay, so we have all of our five plugins installed. Let's refresh the page. And hey, look, we have Elementor, we have post SMTP and all of other plugins we wanted to install. Then if we go to appearance themes, we also have our Elementor theme that we just installed through the WPCLI. If you are interested, you can search for themes and plugins with this command. So it's gonna be this part that I left in the instructions on the GitHub page and then plugin search and the plugin name. Let's search for Elementor. Then you can just install one by running WPCLI, plugin, install, and then the plugin slug. But in that case, the plugin you install will not be activated by default. For it to be activated, you're going to have to specify plugin activate elements kit light. Now the plugin is activated. Yep, it's just right here, activated. 
or during the install, you could just specify plugin install, then plugin name, and then dash dash activate it. Now, lastly, let me just show you how to edit the php.ini configuration. So if you edit user local www apache data dot axis, you're going to have all of the php.ini values here with upload max file size 500 meg, max post size 500 meg, memory limit 256, max execution time 300 and max input time 300. If you'll have to just change anything to the values you need, or if you need to change something else, just Google PHP any, then something that you need changing and then HT access. There are plenty of resources on the internet that will show you how to do this. And just like that, under 10 minutes, you can have your WordPress running on FreeBSD. That's it for this video. Like, subscribe, share, and all that. Let me know which software installation you would like to see automated next. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.